jakethefilmguymicrobudgeter.com. In this video, we're going to continue to look at split testing Facebook reach ads. In the first video, we looked at split testing the creative variable for a reach ad. In this video, we're going to talk about how to split test the audience variable for a reach ad. Why do we do reach ads? It's to get eyeballs on something. Maybe you got a short film. Maybe you got a feature film that's coming out. Maybe you run a video production business on the side or full time and you need more eyeballs. A reach ad is a good place to start. I clear forgot you needed a fortune teller to tell you to burn all of your cash. Was it a bunch of servers? You know, I thought you didn't know. I don't, it's a guess. I'm you and if I had to spend money, I would do the homework and plan for a rainy day. Is that what you did? Maybe. That's a yes. But why? And what is the difference? We're gonna dive right in, look under the hood here, of creating that split test, creative, excuse me, split test audience variable on a reach ad. Once you have started your new ad, the very next thing you're gonna do inside that campaign of the reach ad is select the audience the variable rather than the creative meaning we're going to have the same photo or video but i would rather use a video views ad if i'm going to go the video route i'm going to use a single photo and i'm going to use the same copy meaning the same language that surrounds that ad in reaching my audiences and i say audiences plural because we are choosing two different types of audiences in the last video we looked at the example of trying to create a wedding video ad. If somebody needs a wedding video, we want to serve ad to those engaged people. And I mean, literally, they are engaged and they might be looking to get a wedding, a wedding video for their big day. We're gonna split test that audience by separating some of the different layers that make up that audience. And the first audience here, and this is, again, piggybacking the last video and its hypothetical example, I'm looking at Kansas City and a 10 mile radius, which I could make bigger, people that are aged 21 and up. I'm going to change the variables here, like so. I'm gonna look at kids that are a little older in the first ad. And then in the second ad, I'm going to say 18 and up. And for kicks, I'm gonna look at newly engaged for a year or more. Could you have a newly engaged 18 year old or a 19 year old who's been engaged for a year? Maybe like a unicorn, but it happens. I've met 18 year olds who are more put together than their peers at 25. And the 18 year olds who have the wife and the kid already just seem to have their ducks in a row versus the 25 year old who is single and still wearing the old Metallica t-shirts living in mom and dad's basement. It's just how it's kind of worked out that way. But by and large, it seems like the age for people to get married is on the rise here in the Western world. What do you think about it? Comment below. Okay. We are using, again, the reach strategy. We want to get eyeballs, and so we'll be charged for impressions which we're going to, again, leave as a default of one impression every seven days, meaning we don't want people seeing the same ad on average more than once in a one-week period. Does that make sense? I don't want to blow up their news feed with my wedding video service ad. Not in this hypothetical example. We're going to use a lifetime budget of 50 bucks, just as before. You could do the advanced settings, I recommend an even split. That way you see what ad is working best. An even split of 50-50 for your ad dollars. If you wanna have a start and stop date, you can specify that as well. I'm gonna go with the default example that it's given me here because I am simply illustrating how to set up this ad just as before. I have one ad image that I'm going to work with. It is a wedding video still frame that I am okay with using in the service of this ad. Do you need a wedding video? That's my primary text. Capture your big day forever in the headline. 
You'll notice here in the middle partition, there is a slide out menu that allows you to take a look at what this ad looks like across the different mediums that Facebook has. Facebook stories, Instagram down below. The biggest one for me is to see what it looks like on the desktop because the mobile will always be a truncated version. But the desktop is where I'll have the most expanded version of this ad. I fill out everything. The headline, the description, though they are optional, why not? It's free real estate and I wanted to make sure I'm connecting with these people. Do you need a wedding video? Capture your big day forever. What is this, the Sandlot? What was I thinking in that last video's hypothetical example that I never published? Capture your big day. Don't make a mistake. Get a wedding video you'll love. Or, I think this would even work better. Get a wedding video that will stand the test of time forever. Brownie points if you know where that's from. Call to action, get a quote. Let's use the learn more, learn more button. Excuse me, can't talk today. We're gonna go to confirm and that'll publish the ad. And that's it. They're much easier to set up than the split test for the creative variable. Because with the creative variable, you're changing up the pictures and or the copy that goes with that ad. But here with the create, with the audience variable, you're simply changing up who these ads are being served to. In one case I said, for the sake of illustration, I don't recommend singling out age groups for something like wedding videos if you're going to split test the audience variable. Meaning, I think you should reach the same set of people in terms of age across both ad sets. Ad A and ad B should be reaching 21 year olds and older. I don't think you should say 25 and up in one ad and 18 and up in the other ad for a wedding video. But again, for the sake of illustration, you need to see some of these things in action and some of the power that you have under the hood here of the Facebook ads that are at your disposal. Till next time, keep creating with the King of Kings. And if you're struggling with the porn addiction, go ahead and get help. Find a support group like Celebrate Recovery or just a group of believers who will keep you accountable. We ain't got time for none of that business.